This video has to do with various operations you might undertake to manage your slide presentation. We've got our complete college uh, presentation up on the screen. It only has 12 slides in it. Let's go to slide sorter view so you can see all 12 of those. And there they are. Now let's go back to normal view. In this video I'm going to talk about techniques for deleting slides, hiding slides, rearranging slides within the presentation, importing slides from other presentations into this one, and then finally creating sections in our presentation and organizing it by sections. Okay, the first thing I'd like to talk about is how to delete a slide. Uh, let's say that I'm going to scroll down a little bit here. We've got two charts here and we think two might be too many for our audience. Uh, we only have a limited time, so I want to delete this second one. I click on it in the thumbnail panel and it's now selected. You see the red outline around it. I press the delete key on my keyboard and it's gone. Okay, I'm going to undo that, bring it back. Uh, I'm going to slide sorter view now. And if I wanted to delete several slides, let's say I don't want these slides that have the various quotes on them with the pictures of the individuals, I can click on the first one and then hold down control and select various non-contiguous slides and press the delete key to delete them all. Okay, let me undo that operation. If I have a contiguous range I want to delete, let's say I want to get rid of this uh, communication section here, I can hold down one, hold down my shift key, click on the final one in the contiguous range, and press delete. Okay, control Z will undo that. Let's go back to normal view. And that's deleting, couldn't be simpler. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up to the top here. Now I'd like to talk about hiding slides. And let's say that uh, in our presentation we don't really think we'll have time for talking about uh, the unemployment rate uh, based, based on educational attainment, but the question might come up. We're going to hide this slide so it doesn't show up in our presentation, but in case someone asks a question afterwards about this, we can pop it up. The way you hide a slide is to select it, and this is true of groups of slides too, same as I just demonstrated. Right click, I'm right clicking the thumbnail, and choose hide slide. And you'll see it gets a grayed out uh, looking. It has a diagonal line through the slide number. If I go to slide sorter view, <coughs> it looks just the same. Okay, let me go back to normal view. To un unhide a slide or a group of slides, do the same thing. Right click. Unfortunately, there's not an unhide option. Just choose hide slide again and it will be unhidden. Okay, that's a technique that a lot of people use to store up slides that they might think uh, would come up in questions but they don't want to show in their demonstration. Let's talk about rearranging slides now and the easiest way to do that is in slide sorter view. So let's go there and let's say I want to take this uh, communication section here. I'm holding down shift and selecting these two slides and I want to make it uh, the uh, the first thing, right after I talk about earnings power in this presentation, I can uh, hold down my mouse, click the mouse button, drag, and drop right here. Okay, you see I've dropped them right after this earnings section, and um, it's just that simple. Now you can either select contiguous ranges or non-contiguous ranges and drag them around to rearrange your slide presentation. Let me drag this back where it was. Okay, that's real simple. Now. Let's talk about uh, importing slides from other presentations. I have a couple of other uh, charts here that I think might be useful in my presentation. I'm going to click right where I want to insert them. Then I'm going to go to the Home tab, open up the ribbon on the Home tab, click the drop down under New Slide, and choose Reuse Slides. Okay, A Reuse Slides panel will open. I have two choices. I can open a slide library and that only pertains if you have a SharePoint uh, installation. We don't have one at our school so I'm not going to talk about that. I'm just going to open another PowerPoint presentation. Let's click that. Let's choose that other presentation, this one called College Earnings. And thumbnails of the various slides in that presentation will uh, show up right here in the Reuse Slides panel and you have to click them one at a time to insert them and it will be inserted at the insertion point. 
So I want one called the long run. Okay, and you notice it adopted the uh, target formatting, the, the, the theme that I'm using here. If I wanted to retain the source formatting, I would put a check in this little box that says keep source formatting. I don't want to do that, however. I want to uh, have it adopt the theme formatting, so I'm going to click right after that one and insert this other theme, too, that talks about return on investment for college education. Okay, so that's how you insert slides or import slides from other presentations. Let's go ahead and close that. And finally, let's talk about slide sections. Uh, to build sections, we can do it right here in the thumbnail pane, or we can do it in the slide sorter view. Let's do that. Uh, let's call this section here. I've clicked to place my insertion point, chosen Add Section, and then it, it's a two-step procedure. You have to right-click the section you've just added and rename it and call it uh, whatever you want. Intro is what I'll call this one. Okay. Now let's click right after that intro section. Right-click, add a section, right-click that section title, and rename it to Earnings. Okay. Bear with me as we do this here. Now let's go ahead and click right here, create another section, right click that and rename it to Knowledge. Okay, right here, do it again, rename it, and we'll call this one Critical Thinking. And finally, right click, add a section, and let's call this one communication. I think we probably had better go click here and call our final section summary. or call to action or something along those lines. Okay, we've got all of these sections now and we can collapse them uh, if we choose independently. Makes it easier to work with your presentation. And then you can rearrange them. If I want to take communications now and make it come right after earnings, it's just that easy. I can drag them around. Or I can do the same thing back in normal view. Let's go ahead and collapse that and move communications up here. You see, this way, and this is especially relevant in presentations where you have a great many slides, uh, you, dividing them into sections means that you can expand or collapse the various sections and work on them independently. Okay, this was a little bit uh, long uh, as, as far as videos go, but we did cover five different techniques for deleting slides, hiding slides, rearranging slides, importing slides, and creating sections. Thanks for listening.